Hey to you ladies and gents, how you guys doing? In this video I'm going to show you the new Final Cut Pro X on the MacBook Airs. Of course the MacBook Airs that were released in October 2010. I've got a 13 inch MacBook Air and the specs are on your screen. Let's go ahead and load up Final Cut Pro up first. And it seems to be a bit more faster than my iMac. Now my iMac, as you guys know, is a bit more beastier, or beastier uh, because it's got a quad core chip. But as we all know, the new MacBook Airs, or I say new, but the MacBook Airs have got a flash storage on it, which makes uh, opening up applications a bit more smoother. Let's go ahead and import a file that I have here, which is the MacBook Air case that I put up on my YouTube channel two days ago. And import this bad boy in here. Over here is the rendering times. Uh, there we go. Importing media. Whoops, I should have not paused that. Whoops, it's done. So it kind of paused it before it put it up, but hey, it is indeed uploaded. Let's go ahead and put this into our project. A new project, uh, video properties. I do need to change this to stereo. Quick tip, you must change the surround sound to stereo if you plan on uploading to YouTube, otherwise you get crackling sounds. I learned, um, and I thought I'd put this wee tip in. Let's make this a bit more smaller because I'm not too keen on the 13 inch MacBook Air screen. Um, but let's go ahead and copy this in here, as such. Let's put any kind of effect in so we can export this. Let's put this one in here right at the start. And I fancy a uh, cross dissolve. Let's first of all get the rain selection. Let's why not drag this bit out from here. Put this in the middle here. And let's go ahead and play it. A full on bag. By that one, and that's it. No adapters, no. Uh, so, as you can see, we'd never really seen the effect for some reason. Um, they kind of missed the effect out. I'm not too sure. It's. Again, you know, the processor in the MacBook Airs isn't the best. The new Sandy Bridge processors, which we're going to see on the upcoming MacBook Air refresh sometime in the next month or two, the 2011 version, that should be better. But um, to be honest, I'm not that much disappointed. <laughs> Um, okay, it didn't play it, but let's go ahead and apply some different effect. Um, so take this part out here, and let's play... Ooh, spoilt for choice, spoilt for choice. Um, let's go for this one here. That looks pretty beastly. Shove it there in the middle, and let's go up here in the timeline and let's play it. Most of the cheap garments that you get, clothing that you get, because they're using cheap zips. But when it comes to kind and there we go. Again, remember this video that I'm making just now. I'm also running screen flow at the same time to capture the video, so that is going to have some effect on what you see. Um, I just wanted to give you a good view. So th there will be some kind of differentiation because I'm running another capturing software, uh, which is a video software. But let's go ahead and export this. Uh, let's see what timings we get. Uh, nope, I don't want you to open up QuickTime once you've finished, and I should have put Stereo on. But never mind, we shall go. So this is uploading in 720p, I believe. And... Hello! How about that? And let's see how long this takes. So this is... Um, a four and a half minute video. And it seems to have jammed. Not a good sign. Uh, 5 minutes and 28 seconds, actually that is not bad. Am I getting a much more or better exporting time than iMovie? Whoops, I think I spoke too soon because the time has indeed, as you can see, gone up. Uh, let's see what it goes up to. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. Again, I guess it's not too bad. Remember, these have the Core 2 Duo processors as well. But guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it's given you some indication for those of you who have got a current generation MacBook Air. Of course, they're due to be refreshed anytime soon. Whether you should go out and fork out 170 or 180 pounds for Final Cut Pro, that is the timings. This is how it kind of performs when importing and exporting. Hope it's been beneficial. If you are running on a MacBook Air 11 inch, let me know in the comments below if you've made videos yourself, tutorials, put them as a video response because I am learning as well. This is a new learning curve for me, so any videos on it would be greatly appreciated. Guys, remember you can join me on iGlassWaging.com, Twitter.com slash i6GlassWaging, Facebook.com slash iGlassWaging, too many friggin' social networks, I know that. 
but it looks like just as I'm about to log off. 9 minutes and 30 seconds seems to be the more accurate time. Um, yeah, it's kind of going down from here. Guys, I will see you guys in another life. Cheers, guys.